Hey, what's up, everybody? Bro Trio here, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were recently announced, and we were literally over the moon, as you may have seen in our reaction. But right now, we have been contemplating on this. We have basically non-stop been thinking about yeah. Scarlet and Violet since it happened. We scoured that entire trailer trying to do a breakdown, and there wasn't too much we could really call out that wasn't obvious. Like, we could have done one saying, like, every Pokemon that's confirmed in the game, but, you know, it is what it is. We didn't feel like there was enough to really justify talking about a breakdown. So, we may mention some of that here, but this is mainly the stuff we are hyped for, for Scarlet and Violet. Aptly starting off with our hopes for the starters. So, Sprigatito is the grass cat that looks <laughs> just so so I'm, adorably cute. Yeah, Sprigatito. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's wrong, but it's a lot is of it? I don't know, but I'm a, pretty sure it's, it's that. something like that. It might yeah. it might be right, I don't know, but it just sounds so funny. I thought it was Sprigato because yeah, originally was, we thought it was in uh, Italy. So yeah, I was saying yeah. everything with an Italian accent, so it's like Sprigato <laughs> But it's it's Sprigatito. I believe. Now you have me double guessing myself. <laughs> well, Either way, know, yeah. is. Spriggy is grass <laughs> starter, and I am really wanting it to. Well, one, it looks. Not to put gender roles on stuff, but it looks more of a feminine design, and. Typically, the starters are seemingly like 80% male versus the 20% female rate. And honestly, I know Aaron had to deal with it yeah. with Poplio and Primarina. That yeah. was a boy, and you know, uh, yeah, it's just weird. A male Primarina is just odd. So hopefully, I can have a girl Sprigatito, because I feel like, I don't know, it seems sassy. It seems like a good, compassionate, sassy, like, female companion to have. And the for the start... Similar to Pre Marina, I'd want it to be gain the fairy type because she seems like she would be really sweet, like a Chikorita, but then she could be very vicious and have high super special attack like a Pre Marina. So yeah. I would really love it if it turned into uh, what was the animal you said? Oh, the uh, Iberian lynx. Iberian lynx. It's yeah, that that would be cool. A big old cat. That's not a lion or a tiger or something super popular that we've had before. We haven't. I don't think but that is a Spanish animal. It's yeah, a, Spanish, it's a animal, Spanish animal. And hopefully, I know everybody's been saying it, but hopefully it stays a quadruped. Yes. And we get don't stand up. Don't stand up, Spriggy. <laughs> Just stay on all fours and be a cool, badass, cute fairy lynx. <laughs> and uh, I am choosing for Coco. Because why would I not? Look at that guy. He looks like a pepper. He's great. Yeah, he's, he's already like a, great. A, a pepper with an apple face? Yeah, we said apple in the reveal trailer before we got a closer look, but he is 100% pepper shaped and he looks great. I, I hope this will not happen because it's kind. it seems kind of OP, but I, I would hope that he is not monotype first off, but I would like Fire Dragon but that ain't happening. <laughs> I yeah, highly just, doubt it would, just because Dragon resists Drag every starter type. Yeah, but, so, yeah, but just I, going by looks alone, he could kind of maybe go the Dragon route. But if I have the Fairy type, that cancels out the Dragon type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that, very well could be. Which or, I the would Water be. type would only, you know, that would struggle. But if it get, got the Rock type, I guess that would work out. Yeah, that but, could maybe work. The rock type would give it an edge against the fire type, which it would now be a neutral attack against with the water typing. But yeah, yeah. I don't, no. I don't really know how to balance. But it, since but. yeah, fi since fire dragon balancing ain't it three ways is hard. Since fire dragon just ain't happening, I would be fine with a fire electric because Jesus, I've wanted it forever, and I know we've got <laughs> Rotom, but that's the only fire electric, and I don't. No, I don't want to use a, a microwave Rotom or whatever the hell he is. Yeah. Whatever the fire one is. I, I just want a fire electric, but I don't think that's happening with Rococo. He doesn't... He doesn't seem like he's going to be fast. 
No. no and a fire I electric. I don't think so. But. A fire electric will probably be very fast. He seems like, and I, I also ho- hope they keep with the whole Chinese zodiac theory that everyone thinks is like correct. <laughs> and he like grows longer, and he's like more serpentine. Yeah, because uh, that'd be cool. When I was doing my research, I noticed there's two different types of worm lizards that live in Spain, and that's just a legless lizard, but it's not a snake. But it could be very closely related to a snake, <laughs> <laughs> or he might just have like little I nub, mean, nubs for his feet. He's and a stuff. little <laughs> he's a little crocodile. I'd imagine he's going to be a big crocodile by the end of it. But yeah, probably. I'm happy either way because that guy, I just love him so much. And Quaxley, I'm, I'm really not sure where they're gonna go with that. Like, I've seen a few predictions. Like, a frigate bird would be cool because they, they have like the big puffy chest. And straight up thought that was a yeah. Pokemon name. <laughs> <laughs> just to be outlandish, I'm thinking a Quizacotylus, which is the big pterodactyl. Jesus. <laughs> because. I thought of a pun, and that's why I thought of it. Quaxalotl. 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 I mean, and that would it would be really interesting if the bird ends up being the quadruped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. So he'd be the little li- the little aquatic lizards? Is that what you do? What? No, no that's an ax- axolotl. Yeah, but, uh, you said quaxolotl. That's where I, no, my right. mind went. Yeah, well, quetzalcoatl. Okay, is the big Qu- old. Yeah, quetzalcoatlus is the big pterodactyl. Okay, yeah. okay. And quaxolotlus, maybe. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and for no reason at all, I just want uh, water electric because that seems like a good typing, and it hasn't happened a whole lot. Is lantern water? It's happened yeah. more than fire electric. Oh yeah, but like water's been mixed with almost every. Well, no, No, with everything. It has, yeah. And uh, I've already had water steel and water dark, so I I just want something very different from that. Odds are we're probably going to get water steel or something steel because I'm 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 assuming there's going to be a conquistador helmet added onto something. He's already got like the hair hat. Yeah. So that might turn into some other kind of hat. But I don't know. Just for no reason at all, I like water electric. Water fighting is like a close second, but it just seems like a good type. So, if you can't tell, we did a lot of research on <laughs> Spain, so we'll try to keep our our hype reeled in a little bit, try to keep this a little succinct. Yeah, I mean, if you've watched our videos, you know we can ramble on for hours. <laughs> but uh, moving on from the starters and what we want, which another thing that really helps is we don't re- actually know too much. So this is all just speculation, just yeah. straight up. Like an hour of Google search. Slightly <laughs> filtered hype just thrown at you. Uh, these are some features we would like to see in the game, real quick. Um, you gotta keep sneaking up on Pokemon and lobbing a Pokeball at them without, from Pokemon Arceus. It was so good. Yes. Yeah, it looks great. I it haven't played so Arceus good. yet. You just throw it and you're done. If you, I mean, if you catch them, you're done. But yeah. They need to take a cue from Arceus for the battling also and have it just much, much faster to get through because... Yeah, it takes a yeah. good 30 seconds to get, like, to catch a Pokemon. You yeah. Know, even if you ca- just throw a ball and catch it, that's still a good probably 30 seconds in, a, like, Brilliant Diamond. Yeah, yeah which, that. Like, like, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up quick when you start catching, like, several things. Well, yeah, All I right. mean, because they come, they, it has to flash, and then the battle starts, and they come in to the, sl- to the screen, mm-hmm. and it's like, Sarley's ready for battle, and then, like, if your Pokemon has, like, Intimidate, it's like, Intimidate, Intimidate, they do their little abilities, it takes quite a bit, <laughs> especially if you're just trying to, like, find a certain Pokemon. You don't want that Starly. You want to run, but you still gotta wait there for, like, 30 seconds. Right. And hopefully that streamlines to just a much faster and easier method where maybe both abilities, like if both Pokemon have Intimidate, it procs at the same time so you don't have to sit through one and yeah. then sit through the other. Like you can have them both go at the same time or something. We just got an item. So um, <laughs> hopefully it just speeds it up all. It's just that flow. Arceus had such a good flow. Yeah. It's just battle done. Over. Now, don't make. The battles were maybe a little too fast in Arceus because it's like one hit, battle's over, but 
I'm not saying that. It's just like it just flowed better. Yeah, That's they all. just they just got to it. And then one aspect we wanted to talk about, the we don't really know where it would fit in, if it's a mini game or a plot point or something, but Spain is famous for the running of the bulls, running with the bulls, whatever it is. Oh yeah, regional and, variants yeah. of Tauros. Like, right. Like, Maybe even a regional evolution of Tauros, and you have a running yeah. of the Tauros, you can live out that the scenes from the anime where Ash <laughs> catches a whole herd of them. It would be great. And just, yeah, just be the opening scene from City Slickers 2 all over again. <laughs> just an interesting way to do it. And oh, yeah. They just something fun do to do in a town, too. And give Tauros some love. He, he doesn't get anything. But speaking of Tauros, catch him in the Safari Zone. And we think there should be another Safari Zone. <laughs> yeah, just a very big one. Or maybe several small ones. Because on the map that we saw of the vaguely Spain area, the Canary Islands were on there. There's some very unique stuff that lives on the Canary Islands. So I could definitely see you like getting on like an SSN type of thing and just like island hopping. Yeah. Just, just a lot work, of work your way down the chain. Hopefully, maybe they combine it with the Galapagos Islands, which is also a Spanish territory. And there's some weird stuff there. And that's the only place a lot of things that are even similar to that live. And that would be a really cool idea to bring into a Safari Zone type of situation. Not really a big feature, but just something I would want is... Hopefully, if anyone at Game, Game Freak is, is watching for some odd reason, <laughs> let us get the pseudo-legendaries a little bit earlier than like right at the end of the game. Yeah, oh, yeah they don't evolve until like level 50. I want time with this Pokemon, and like Scotty said, the party's normally set at that point. Yeah, they're, like I've normally set myself up where like nobody can leave. Like that is my party now. Oh yeah, like your your party's set, ready to go, and then you find a Gibble, and you're like, uh, do yeah. I train him? Do I do I bother with this? No, I'm not gonna do yeah, it. You I'll find do it. a Gibble, and he's like level three. And so then, yeah, certain... so that'll be like your post game Pokemon to do, but. At a certain point, I feel attached to the Pokemon I've right, yeah, around with yeah. the whole game, so I don't want to like be like, "Hey, sorry, guy, I know you're, I know you're my least favorite, <laughs> so like you gotta go live in this computer, and I'm gonna get get this dragon." So that brings us to the final points of our video, which is probably the biggest one because it is wildly speculating. Now is unrestrained <laughs> yeah. speculation because we're going to be talking about potential Pokemon. And one of my favorite types of Pokemons are the fossil types. I love fossil Pokemon. I always think they're at least interesting. Yeah. And I think we could have some really cool fossils. So we went through the list of like fossil Pokemon and stuff like that that hasn't really happened yet. Some has, some hasn't. And these are the ones we think should be a fossil Pokemon. I will start. There has never been a Stegosaurus Pokemon, and that is a crime. And yeah. there's also never been a fossil Pokemon that was poisoned. So I think a rock poisoned Stegosaurus with weird little, like, poison smoke spines would be yeah. so cool. That would be awesome. They're also, I think, which they did this a lot in Arceus, like any new Pokemon had like a special signature move. I think if it's a fossil Pokemon, it should have a signature move. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know what the Stegosaurus could be, but it could be something with the Thagomizer, where it just <laughs> like to say whaps that. its tail at him, Thagomize a lot, or something <laughs> cool does like, like, very low PP, but very high damage, and that is what I want for the Stegosaurus. My favorite dinosaur has not been represented in Pokemon, and it's really not that represented in media, typically, but my favorite yeah. is the Ankylosaurus. I love that tanky big boy with, his, <laughs> with a friggin' uh, mace for a tail, a little hammer tail. He's so cool. I want to see an Ankylosaurus as a Pokemon, and since it's this like armored friggin' walking tank of a dinosaur, I was gonna go with Rock Steel. 
for that because that's what that whole type would be about a rock ground or steel ground yeah. no rock has to be in there cause he'd, it's a, he'd have to be tanky rock steel rock steel because i forgot rock had to be in there if they were fossil it's but. been done with bastiodon but it's still a great amazing type yeah yeah because yeah. bastiodon takes a while to go down give me that rock steel big boy with and like the tail since he's steel could just be a straight up like battle hammer <laughs> just on the yeah. end of his tail that would be so awesome. Or they could go with like an axe, like like a double bladed axe Ooh, on the for his yeah. tail or axe something. Would, the axe tail would be cool. But there's a lot like Ankylosaurus doesn't get enough love and Pokemon's never even touched the damn thing, so I would love to see it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm I normally love dinosaurs, but I'm kinda feeling more like the prehistoric mammals this time around. I don't know why. It's just a feeling I've got. We've never had a saber toothed tiger. And that would be cool. Daniels could possibly evolve into one. Yeah. But what I'm really leaning toward, and I, this is just out of nowhere, uh, Wooly Rhino. Normal slash rock, he would just be a force of nature. And it'd be like just a badass like rhino, which we don't... I mean, we have like Rhydon and stuff, but we don't have like a big, huge rhino yet. You really and don't. If you look at these things, like we'll have one behind us by now, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. They're terrifying. They're terrifying. They have like <laughs> just a. It's like a lion rhino. It's yeah, got a yeah. mane. And it's very badass. And normal rock, while getting a quad weakness to fighting, it would. The normal would give it a big, big old chunk of HP. Yeah. And the rock gives it pretty high defense also. So it would be a really big tanky boy, and I'm unfortunately, well, I mean, we might get all three of them, but we'll probably only get two or none. I mean, who knows? We got like four last time. We don't talk about those, though. <laughs> or at least <laughs> halves of them. But <laughs> so moving on from the fossils to other random ass stuff we saw in Spain and Portugal that we think would make good Pokemon. How is there not a dolphin? Yeah. How has there never been a dolphin? It's That's weird. so weird. There's and similar to one, but it's like not a dolphin. Yeah. But yeah, there's never been a dolphin really. Not a good one. Yeah, and Spain has lots of beaches and they do have dolphins there. So we might finally get a dolphin. Another thing that surprisingly we've never had is a flamingo. Yeah. And uh, there's a dance called the Flamingo, so, like, maybe we'll get, like, some kind of crazy Flamingo-like Pokemon, hopefully. Yeah, we got that bird that I, th I think one of them was a Flamingo dancer, the one yeah, with, like, the, nine forms. Oh, or yeah. a Choreo? Yeah. Yeah, I think one of them was. But I'm, I'm talking, this is the full theme of this one. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. full-on Flamingo. Flamingos used to be my favorite bird, so I'd be 100% down for that, too. <laughs> Spain also has a tomato festival, and since we literally got an apple, an apple pie Pokemon <laughs> last game. And that literally got a pepper. Let's, right let's, let's get that tomato Pokemon, yeah. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yeah, oh, you yeah, want to see very, that in Scarlet Violet. Yeah. <laughs> it's very possible. Delicious. I love tomatoes. And uh, there's two artists that are both from Spain that give me a really high hope that we get to see some really messed up looking Pokemon because we've got Salvador Dali who's famous for like his surrealistic art style with everything like the clocks melting and all that and Pablo Picasso so we <laughs> like it I don't know what it could be probably like the closest thing I can imagine is Porygon because he's he doesn't really look like he belongs and I think that's what this what I want out of this pairing but just something that is like off-putting but also cool looking in or you like hate it but can't look away regional or a regional <laughs> variant of smurgle but he had and previously he'd cut off his own ear yeah that could like be he could too. be a, a cubist smurgle <laughs> yeah. there's also apparently a legendary portuguese rooster in yeah actual portuguese legend so that could be a cool Pokemon. I mean, oh yeah, we don't, I can't we think don't of too have many a whole roosters. lot of roosters. Yeah, oh. Portugal's pretty damn close to France. I mean, not and France. Portugal's pretty damn close to Spain. So that and that's 
Ooh, speaking of France, I hope Spain, this region, is who the who Kalos or whatever was at war with Ooh, in the ancient Pokemon uh, War. That'd be cool to that see like the other such side a of the cool war. Tie in and like their side was full of conquistadors. <laughs> Because uh, the main character's I mean, hat already looks like a conquistador hat. Oh, like, yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm just like, like Spain and France share a border, so it's definitely possible. Yeah, it's that, mm-hmm. That's the ancient Pokemon War, hopefully. That would be <laughs> really cool to tie it in like that. And there's one thing, I, I doubt this is going <laughs> to come into play, but it's such an odd tradition for Americans that I just have to mention the poop log. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cagatillo is like this log that you you feed it over the course of the month or something and then it like poops out Christmas presents for you. <laughs> How would you evolve that thing? Would you have I... to get a stick and beat it and sing a song <laughs> about like, don't give me sardines <laughs> with that yeah. song we looked up? Maybe like, it has a double evolution like I... where it can evolve into like something oh, cool yeah, or yeah. like a sardine. <laughs> yeah, or you get sardines or you get a good one <laughs> that pooped out presents. <laughs> I don't know. That's just a, a really funny thing to talk about, and I, I would love to see something like that brought in. <laughs> also, uh, probably one of the last ones for the non-specific animals, but uh, weirdly enough, <laughs> in our research, it turns out, was is Spain about chess? Yeah. Yeah. Spain did not invent chess, but they did invent the rules for it. <laughs> How did it work so, before that? That doesn't. I, I don't know. Did how someone that... just make the board in the pieces and went to Spain and was like, "Guys, I don't know what to do with this. This is chaos. They're I'm, just moving everywhere." I'm guessing. And then the Spaniards like were like, "Yeah, well, let just restrict how they move." Yeah, like, this one moves like an L. I imagine yeah. maybe it was like separate games that they consolidated into one game or something like that. Uh, but I I don't yeah. understand how that. This works. one guy threw the pawn at me and I didn't know what to do because it's not against the rules. Yeah. And yeah. like, other than Pontiard and evolution of Pontiard, I can't think <laughs> of any other real chess-based character like Pokemon yeah. we've ever had. Jesus, I didn't even know there was one. <laughs> yeah, there's co- Pontiard. At least a few. Uh, Pontiard and Bisharp. Bisharp. Yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna look up a picture and of those. Then, I don't even remember those a little bit. That's from Gen Five. We al- oh. we always seem to get like some non-organic Pokemon. So I'm thinking we're probably going to get a guitar of some kind, because that it was invented there. And there's a move called Metronome, and apparently Spain invented the Metronome. So that's very possible that we could get like a chingling type of thing that's just like a metronome. I don't know. Also, real quick, Rapiers, regional Aegislash. Yeah. Let's see it. That would be cool. And then moving on to some animals, we'll wrap this up pretty quick. But there is this really interesting and famous lizard sculpture in Spain. Yeah, Ga- that, uh, Gaudis? I, I, I'm probably mispronouncing that, but here it is. <laughs> so this thing already looks kind of like a Pokemon. It really so does. Let's just make it a Pokemon. It looks like a stylized Kecleon, basically. So maybe a Kecleon evolution, maybe just its own thing, maybe one of the legendaries. So I don't it's know. A lizard? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It might be yeah. my boy if he turned into that. It, <laughs> it very well could be. Maybe he'll get some more color in him. And there's one... I was thinking about the regional bird. And there's this one... The, the real bird is called a Chiff Chaff. <laughs> that, that <laughs> That's already, already a Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. And it's like a little sparrow looking thing. Chiff Chaff. Not not the best looking, but a lot of times the the basis for the regional bird is not the most impressive looking bird anyway. But I was thinking it could evolve into a chaff chip. There we go. <laughs> I was thinking it could evolve into a black winged kite because that's like a little eagle thing. It's pure white with black wings, and it looks really really cool. It's got like red eyes, and I I could see that being a really really interesting regional bird final evolution. And I, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but Daniel and I always love when the Pokedex entry mentions that, like, two different types are rivals of each other, like, uh, Zangoose and Surviper, yeah. uh, Young Goose and Alolan Rattata. Yeah. Um, and the big one, the Heracross and, uh, Pinsir, isn't it? Oh, yeah, That's yeah, That's a pretty yeah. big one, too. Yeah. And 
Well, first of all, I found out apparently Spanish fly is a real bug, not just like the legendary aphrodisiac whatever. And it's a beetle. It's a green metallic blister beetle. So it could be a really interesting... Uh, blister beetle? Oh. Yeah, like if you touch it, it like gets stuff on you and you're, you break out into blisters. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah. poison type. There po we go. Yeah, poison bug. And... Classic type. <laughs> yeah. Because apparently it was used as an aphrodisiac, but also it's a poison. So, like real world tie into that. And then there's this carpenter bee that is actually a real life rival with that beetle. Because the beetle's larva hitches a ride on the bee and then like rides to the hive, invades it, and eats the honey and the young. And this carpenter bee looks really cool because it's all black, but it's got blue metallic wings. Ooh, and it, yeah. is, it looks super cool. It's one of the, the coolest bees I think I've ever seen. And we've only had Bee Drill and Beth, Vespeth Queen, basically. Those are the yeah. only bees I can think about. And, I mean, they're both great, but there's so many bees, we could do so much cool stuff. We're not done with bees. Let's get some cool <laughs> bees. And beetles. I can't think of one beetle Pokemon other than like ladybugs, really, and Heracross. Yeah, we've got a couple of ladybugs and Maybe Heracross. Maybe Pinsir. Yeah, Heracross, Pinsir. That's about yeah, it. Yeah, it's really weird because like the be like beetles are most of the bugs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, charge when you, when you charge bug, him, whatever so. his name was, he was kind of a beetle. Yeah, he was kind, kind of, of a beetle. Yeah. But he turned into like, Yeah, he d was he a beetle at the end? He was of a it? rail gun at the yeah, end. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was like a big. Yeah, he was a rail gun beetle. beetle. Yeah. He's a, yeah, he's a beetle. There are not that many beetles, though. No. It's weird. Weird. But that's going to about wrap up our hype train for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. As you can tell, we are overly hyped for these games. And we've seen a whole uh, one picture of the new yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, I, know. I didn't think I'd be that excited that they went back to colors. For the name, it was, it was just cool. I know it's it's our back to the beginning is basically red and blue all over. Oh again. yeah, basically. <laughs> but Scarlet and Violet has us really excited, and we cannot wait to find out more. But at the same time, I hope we don't find out too much. I want to find out in game, but we'll see what the Pokemon Company has in store for us. And you better believe the Bro Trio is going to be there to talk about it. So catch us next time.